Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i'll show you the new android 13 beta 2 port on my oneplus 8t and whether you should install this on your device or not so without wasting any more time let's get started if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is 13 based out of android 13 beta 2 and the security patch is 5th may 2022 and since this has been ported out of pixel 6 pro the device name also says pixel 6 pro a huge thanks to the developer jay for giving his time and making it happen now let's see what all you get with this build and whether it can be used as a daily driver or not first of all let's run some benchmarks in geekbench the device scores 881 in single core and 3025 in multi core and in 15 minute cpu throttling test the CPU throttled up to 77% of its capacity. The performance on the first look seems okay and good enough. However, it doesn't feel super snappy and responsive as Android 12, probably because it is a beta version of Android 13. And this shows in the low benchmark results also. The UI also feels a little slower than Android 12, but it does the job. If we talk about the features, you get all the latest features of Android 13 developer preview and beta 2, like the new battery widget, the new and amazing music player seek bar, the updated notification panel, the new wallpaper switcher and whatnot. All the basic functionality also works fine without any issues. You can see I am connecting to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and I can also make and receive calls. The Volti services also work great without any hiccups. However, there can be a problem with specific OEMs while making a call. With Android 13 Beta 2, everything is more consistent and clean and most of the icons have been redesigned to match the material you theming. The power icon on the notification shade has also been moved down towards the bottom side so that it is easily reachable using one hand. And the animation of the notifications has also been changed. If you talk about the launcher, you get this pixel launcher and it doesn't have much options to customize just like on pixel devices and nothing fancy to show here. Moving on, you won't get a working camera with this one. As you can see, if I open the camera, it closes without even opening the app. So you will have to install Gcam on your own. Another problem with this port is that the alert slider doesn't work as there are no alert slider in the pixel devices and you also don't have fingerprint unlock or face unlock. So you will have to use either a pin or pattern to unlock your device. Talking about the battery, the battery is also average and you will get somewhere around 5 to 5.5 hours of screen on time on a single charge. However, it is not as good as Android 12 ROMs. One thing to notice is that the charging speeds are completely fine and the phone charges from 1 to 100 in about 40 to 45 minutes. Moving on, the widevine status is also L1, so you will be able to stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming websites. However, the ROM doesn't pass the safety net without even routing, so you might face some payment problems. I think the port is really good if someone wants to try the latest Android 13 on their OnePlus 8 series devices. Comment down if you want an installation video for the same. However, since this is a beta port, there are a lot of problems and the software is not completely stable. This is why it is not suggested to flash this one on your device. But a huge thanks to Jay again for all the hard work. That's all for this one. Hopefully you liked this video. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.